It may not be the first thing that you want to think about, but don't be under any illusions. The oceans are basically stuffed full of submarines that are bulging at the seams with dangerous and sometimes world-ending weaponry. I know, this is a fun one. You're gonna sleep well tonight, I'm sure. From a whole load of Cold War-style boasting with boats to a new and completely silent submarine that could end the world before anyone even noticed it was there, here are 20 submarines that could destroy the world in 30 minutes. Number 20. Typhoon Class Developed during the Cold War, the Typhoon class of submarine is a creation of the Soviet Union as a response to the United States Navy's then-new Ohio-class submarine. That's how things were back then. All the time, the two superpowers were locked in an endless one-upmanship, constantly insisting that they were the ones with the bigger and better stuff. Then General Secretary of the Communist Party, Leonid Brezhnev, announced a new type of nuclear ballistic missile submarine in a 1974 speech, and that is largely believed to be where NATO picked up the word typhoon in relation to these vessels, as they were never actually known as that in the Soviet Union. So the Soviet designation Project 941 Akula, the Russian word for shark, was also known by NATO as the Typhoon Submarine. These are a class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines that were built to accommodate a crew of 160 in comfortable living conditions. Although, how comfortable anyone can be when submerged in a tank full of sweaty humans for a month on end is anyone's guess. These typhoons were actually the biggest submarines ever built, and they have a submerged displacement of 48,000 tons, which is pretty chunky indeed. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Ohio Class the United States' largest submarines ever built, the Ohio class, were the U.S. Navy's answer to the Soviet Typhoon class of submarines. Designed and manufactured initially during the 1970s, these massive subs were slightly smaller than the gigantic Typhoon class ones, but they were equipped with that all-important extra missile capacity. Yes, whereas the Soviet Typhoons could carry 20 missiles, these Ohio class submarines, well, they could actually carry 24. A very important feature when you're talking about being able to destroy the whole wide world, these Ohio-class SSBNs have held an important position in the United States' nuclear deterrent triad. The U.S. Navy actually currently has 14 of them in service, and they carry half of the entire strategic thermonuclear warheads for the United States. So, that's rather a lot of world-ending capability in just a handful of submarines. The Ohio class of nuclear submarines are powered by a pressurized water reactor. This drives steam turbines to the propeller shaft, and these subs can get to depths of up to 800 feet at speeds of more than 25 knots. Those missiles that they carry, well, they can apparently be aimed accurately enough to selected targets from almost anywhere in any ocean that you could care to think of. Number 18. Columbia Class as the Ohio class of submarines are rapidly becoming relics of the Cold War, the United States Navy has been embarking on a mission to update and upgrade the existing nuclear submarine fleet. Their answer to modernizing the Ohio class? Well, that would be the Columbia class. These submarines are due to start being brought into service from 2027 and will then serve as the core of the United States underwater strategic deterrent system into the future and beyond. Just like the Ohio class, these subs will carry interconnected ballistic missiles, but with several substantial improvements on the outdated Ohio class subs. One of the biggest shifts in the process of developing the Columbia class is the boat's ability to operate for its entire service life with the same nuclear fuel. 
This is a substantial improvement on the Ohio since those vessels required a complicated and lengthy exchange of fuel midway through their service life. Apparently, this kind of newfangled technology doesn't come cheap though. The Columbia class of submarines is estimated to be the most expensive project that the United States Navy has ever undertaken. The main driving force behind the insistence of this update, despite the cost, is the fear that China, with its ever-growing power, with its ever-growing power, will soon overtake the United States in the naval domain. For the U.S. Navy, preventing this power shift is worth the astronomical expense of overhauling the entire fleet. Number 17. 955 Bore Class And just as the United States must overhaul and replace its aging Cold War submarines, so too must Russia. The Bore class of submarine is a fourth-generation Russian nuclear-powered vessel with all the bells and whistles. Oh, and the nuclear missiles as well, of course. These submarines operate with a crew of 130 and are powered by an OK-650 nuclear reactor a steam turbine, and a propeller system. These are the first in Russia to have a pump jet propulsion system, as these Bore-class submarines begin to replace the aging fleet of Typhoon and Delta III-class subs. They're also being equipped with exactly as many big pointy weapons as you may expect. They can carry up to 16 Balava SLBM missiles, as well as six SN915 anti-ship missiles. Well, that's all useful information, I'm sure. How is all this chat about missiles and nukes and secret underwater stealth technology going for you? Can you even believe there are so many submarines just skulking about out there, pointing their weapons around all willy-nilly? It is a lot now, isn't it? Number 16, 667 BDRM Dolphin Class. The project, known as 667 BDRM Delphin class, nuclear-powered strategic missile submarine, was first developed in the Soviet Union in 1982. It would be launched in 1984 and began its service life in 1986. It's been finally announced that 2022 will be the final year and the Russian Navy is withdrawing the vessel from its northern fleet. So before the Delphin class is taken away and sent for disposal, hopefully very carefully indeed, given all that nuclear power that it uses to propel itself, It served a decades-long career in the Soviet and Russian Navy. This submarine has been equipped with and used for the test launches of so many dangerous pointy missiles over its time in the ocean, and the strategic submarine has been especially useful for the training and testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which include both the Suniva and Laner ICBMs. Gosh, this is really what I want to be thinking about. <laughs> How about you? Number 15. 885M Yasin M class. This 885M Yasin M class of submarine is Russia's big new shiny vessel. In July of 2021, the first one was floated by the Sevmish shipyard, and this is on the way to becoming a part of the Russian Northern Fleet and the Pacific Fleet in the future. The Yasin M class is an updated and improved version of the Yasin nuclear attack submarine, equipped with a new power supply and acoustic defense systems. These are designed to increase the submarine's stealth capability and reduce any noise output from the vessel. It also includes a new and improved hull shape and a snazzy electronic warfare system. This is all so very comforting now, isn't it? Beyond the shape and such, the Yasin M-Class is equipped with a massive vertical launching system that can fire cruise missiles, surface-to-air missiles, anti-ship missiles, and torpedoes. The missile is operational with a range of 600 kilometers, and that's almost 373 miles. Number 14. Astute Class Apparently, the Astute class are the most advanced attack submarines that have ever been built for the British Royal Navy. These fancy schmancy subs are no longer equipped with a classic optical periscope, but use high specification video technology to scan the horizon instead. Now, call me old fashioned, but what is a submarine without a periscope? Isn't that all the fun of it? Being able to poke up and look around with a secret eyeball? Who knows? Anyways, these are the quietest class of submarine that's ever been made. The 318 feet long vessels have been designed to produce their own oxygen and drinking water. These capabilities mean that the astute class submarines are able to circumnavigate the whole world while still remaining submerged. 
these submarines are only limited to a 90-day dive based on the amount of food they can carry and the overall endurance of the crew on board. A 10-week-long patrol in an astute class with 98 crew members on board will munch their way through a total of 18,000 sausages and 4,200 Weetabix breakfasts. And what of its weaponry? Well, these submarines are equipped with Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles and also with Spearfish heavyweight torpedoes. The Astute is able to strike targets at a range of up to 1,000 kilometers or about 621 miles with alleged pinpoint accuracy. Three whole months underwater does seem like a long time now, doesn't it? Do you think that you could handle it? Number 13. Sea Wolf Class Another of the United States Navy's answers to the advances in Soviet Cold War era technologies, the Sea Wolf class of attack submarines began the design process all the way back in 1983. They were designed to address the threat of Soviet submarines and were equipped with a huge array of torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. The whole point of these submarines was to be multifunctional or able to perform several tasks simultaneously on many different sorts of missions. The Sea Wolf class was intended to replace the Los Angeles class of submarines, and the original plan was to produce a total of 30 of these new vessels over the following decade. But despite all the hype, ultimately only three of these Sea Wolf submarines were ever constructed. When the designs finally went to begin construction in 1989, the world had begun to significantly alter. The end of the Soviet Union would be on the horizon, there was a significant thawing in east-west relations, and the decision would be made to cut the total of Sea Wolf subs to just 12 units. Even so, this was one of the most expensive endeavors that the U.S. Navy had ever undertaken. Each vessel cost around three to three and a half billion dollars to produce, and if they had continued with this project as planned, it would have cost a quarter of the U.S. Navy's total construction budget. So, in the end, only three of these submarines ever materialized, but they're all still in service today. The U.S. Navy decided to go ahead and build more of the smaller and more cost-effective Virginia-class submarines instead, and will encounter these again later in this list. Number 12. Shang Class the Type 093, or Shang-class submarine, is a nuclear-powered attack submarine that's been in development in China under secrecy since the mid-1980s. This submarine was to be the replacement for the Type 091, or Han-class, and during all these years that the submarine has been developed and produced, it has apparently encountered all kinds of massive technical difficulties with both the nuclear reactor, and that's not something you want a problem with, and the onboard weapon systems. These nuclear-powered Powered attack submarines are used by the People's Liberation Army Navy Submarine Force. They contain a vertical launching system for anti-ship missiles and cruise missiles as well. The process of building these 093 types is slowly but surely replacing the older 091 types. The thing is though, these things are kind of surrounded in a fog of mystery. There are rumors and official reports, but the truth of what the Shang-class submarine is capable of, or indeed what weaponry it might carry, is not common knowledge. As of now, it's believed that there are two different kinds of 093 class subs, one of which contains the torpedoes and the anti-ship missiles, as aforementioned. The second is believed to be able to launch long-range land attack cruise missiles. So that's all very wonderfully comforting then. Number 11. Triumphant Class the Triumphant class is France's strategic deterrent. It is the French Navy's current system of nuclear defense since the fall of the Soviet Union in the 1990s. Prior to then, the French military had a full quota of death-dealing weaponry in the shape of a nuclear triad of land, sea, and air-based weapons. But in more recent times, that's been reduced to these submarine-based deterrents. These are relatively small compared to the comparable classes in other nations, but have proven adequate for French defense requirements for decades. These things are birthed in a top-secret location in the west of the country, and the location is believed to be one of the most heavily defended places in all of France, which is probably a good thing when you're talking about a nuclear arsenal. At least one of these submarines is out on patrol at all times. The remaining vessels may be docked for maintenance or even being prepared to deploy. Their mission every time is to leave undetected, stay silent at sea, and be prepared to initiate a nuclear strike should the order come in. For that, 
hopefully never utilized task, these submarines are equipped with 16 missile silos that house rockets with a range of approximately 3,700 miles. They also carry torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. One of the main aims of any submarine of this kind is to be extremely quiet, to go undetected by anybody. But sometimes, that can result in an accident. In 2009, one of these triumphant subs accidentally collided with a British Navy submarine while patrolling in the middle of the Atlantic, and they were both just too quiet to even spot each other. Number 10. Vanguard Class there are four Vanguard-class submarines that make up Great Britain's nuclear deterrent. These subs are purpose-built nuclear-powered carriers of ballistic missiles, which have been specially designed to incorporate some of the better design aspects of other British submarines, with the addition of extra capacity for all the dangerous weapons. Each of these vessels is armed with Trident 2D5 nuclear missiles, and the submarines themselves are steam-powered with reactors that convert water into steam that then drives their engines and generates electricity. They're all fitted with world-class sonar technology, and the system is so very sensitive indeed that they can hear vessels that are over 50 miles away. These submarines are generally anticipated to have a lifespan of about 30 years of service. The Vanguard-class submarine is equipped with the aforementioned Trident D-5 ballistic missile, which can be fired from 4,000 miles away, traveling at over 13,000 miles per hour. Patrol subs can carry up to 40 of these nuclear warheads and eight operational missiles. They're also equipped with the Spearfish anti-submarine torpedo, a two-ton heavyweight torpedo that's used for defense amongst submarines and ships. Now, this does have a range of between 14 and 30 miles, depending on the speed of the vessel at the time. So, right then, let's move on to some more scary submarines. Number 9. Chinese Type 094 Gen Class Again, as with many things in military, there's only a certain amount of information out there about these submarines. China tends to keep a tight lid on its technology and its military strategies, as you would expect, really. So the Type 094, or Jin class submarine, is a ballistic missile submarine that was developed by China for the use by the People's Liberation Army Navy Submarine Force. That catchy name doesn't get any better with use now, does it? The People's Liberation Army Navy Submarine Force. Wow. Anyways, this submarine would first pop into commercial satellite imagery all the way back in 2006 when it was spotted surfacing at a submarine base. It is longer than its predecessor, the 092, and its design seems to be based on the Type 093 that we saw earlier on. It's believed that there are now six of these submarines that are actually operational. They form a part of China's nuclear deterrent and are seemingly armed with intercontinental ballistic missiles, 12 JL-2 SLBMs with an estimated range of about 4,600 miles. Yikes! Number 8. Oscar Class Ah yes, another massive Russian submarine, and it's about time as well. It would be way back in the Cold War that the Soviet Navy first developed the Project 949 Granite class of nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines. These would be known by NATO as Oscar class, since NATO had to give everything another name for one reason or another. Anyways, these things are absolutely massive. They were basically designed to combat NATO aircraft carrier groups and were the largest cruise missile subs around until the U.S. Navy went ahead and converted a few of its Ohio-class subs to carry cruise missiles in 2007. These Oscar-class, or Granite-class, subs were each equipped with 24 Granite cruise missile launchers and six torpedo tubes. That meant that they could chuck out an awful lot of firepower in one go. They do have a range of approximately 350 miles. Number 7. Soryu Class Now we head to Japan, where they too have some big submarines that are full of lots of pointy and dangerous weapons. The Soryu Class, or 16SS Class, is a Japanese diesel electric assault submarine that many have said is one of the very best of its kind anywhere in the world. They are the core of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces Submarine Force and an essential piece of the Japanese Navy in the East Pacific.
These submarines have a maximum diving depth of 650 meters or 2,130 feet, and they're equipped with six torpedo tubes from which it can launch Type 8-9 torpedoes and UGM-84 Harpoon missiles. The hull of the vessel would be designed after the shape of the whale's body. It's covered with sound absorbing and reflecting materials so as to reduce its underway noise levels. The amount of investment that Japan has put into the reduction of sound levels in its submarines has really paid off. A Soryu class submarine is one of the most silent in the entire world. Number 6. The Akula class. The Akula class submarine would be designed to be the backbone of the Soviet Union's nuclear deterrent. They were first deployed by the Soviet Navy in 1986 as a response to the United States' Ohio class ballistic missile submarines. Those were to be extra large at 564 feet long and extra armed with 192 nuclear warheads on board. So the Soviet Union, well, it built its own big fat submarine. These highly effective nuclear-powered attack submarines have some extremely sophisticated detection equipment available, which includes all the sonar stuff that you'd expect, along with a wake detection system that's complete with hydrodynamic sensors that can detect changes in the water's salinity or temperature, which can indicate the presence of another vessel nearby. These submarines are also, of course, heavily armed. They're equipped with four torpedo tubes, which are able to use either Type 53 torpedoes or RPK-2 and RPK-6 missiles. And they also have an additional four torpedo tubes, which can utilize the Type 65 torpedo along with RPK-7 missiles. Gee, what a fun submarine. Number five, Los Angeles class. There are currently 41 Fast Attack Los Angeles or SSN 688 class submarines on active duty within the United States Navy. 30 of these are armed with 12 vertical launch system tubes that fire Tomahawk cruise missiles. These are the bulk of the United States Navy's underwater fleet and are capable of multiple wartime functions. They're equipped to perform undersea warfare, surface warfare, and strike warfare, as well as reconnaissance, intelligence collection, mining operations, special forces delivery and carrier battle group support and escort. The Los Angeles class submarines are an utterly invaluable and vital part of the sea defenses for the United States. In addition to the tasks that may be performed by any of these submarines, there's also some 23 submarines that have been adapted to perform a specific duty. These are called the Improved 688s, and they've been upgraded to be quieter and contain a more advanced combat system. In particular, these subs have been especially adapted for under ice operations, their diving planes have been shifted from the sail to the bow, and then the sail was reinforced to make it more efficient at breaking through thick ice. These vessels are also equipped with all the same weaponry as others in their class, because of course they are. Number 4. Sierra 2 Class Back at the end of the Cold War, the Soviet Union developed the Project 945A Condor class of submarine, which is known by NATO as Sierra 2. These submarines were part of a small but very expensive project to develop boats with titanium hulls. During that era, the Soviet Union had achieved much greater advances in titanium technology than it had so far been accomplished in the West, so this was an area in which they felt they could get some advantages. However, despite their ability to achieve better results with the material, this was proven to be a really expensive project overall. So although the resulting hulls were much more effective in deep water and could achieve greater speeds than the traditional hulls, the cost of the project meant that numbers for production of these submarines were actually limited. The Sierra-class submarines can operate at depths of up to around 1,800 feet, which makes these amongst the deepest diving of all Russian subs out there. Two of this class currently remain operational in Russia's northern fleet, and although Although these vessels have been supplemented by the Akula-class submarines, they're not matched in either terms of speed or depth diving capability. Number 3. Virginia-class as the United States Navy begins retiring their faithful large Ohio-class submarines, there's a gap in the Navy's potential undersea firepower. 
The plan is to fill that gap before it appears with the Virginia-class, a new fleet of attack submarines. The Virginia-class submarine is a next-generation machine built with quieting systems to optimize the stealth capabilities of the submarine itself. They're armed with new weapons, state-of-the-art sonar technology, and the most advanced undersea warfare stuff that will enable these vessels to perform in any situation as the best in the world. Well, at least that's what all the hype says anyways. Although a good deal of information about these submarines is naturally being kept under wraps, there's been a little that has been made into the public conversation. The Virginia-class submarines are to be the stealthiest submarines ever built. To achieve this, they've been equipped with the most technologically advanced quieting gear that will make the sub much more difficult to detect. There are also new quieting coatings which have been applied to the hull for the same purposes. The general idea is to make this submarine as silent as possible, and therefore a able to operate within enemy waters or near coastlines without being detected. This is apparently to make the submarine capable of performing covert surveillance along with clandestine undersea missions as well as deploy ground forces in strategic locations. You know, all the usual stuff that a submarine should be doing. Number 2. SSNX Next Generation this submarine, although it's not yet in service, is purported to be one of the most advanced submarines that's ever been built. The SSNX Next Generation Attack Submarine is due to enter service in the United States Navy in the year 2031. It's being cited as the U.S. Navy's response to the emerging threat that's currently being posed by near-peer adversaries in the competition to dominate the undersea world. Where the Virginia-class sub is designed to be dominant in multi-mission situations, the SSNX is apparently all about the speed and the stealth, along with the capacity to carry larger inventories of weaponry and other different payloads. The goals of the two different classes are slightly different, but that doesn't mean that the SSNX will be a slouch in the multi-mission department. The aim is for it to retain the capacity to operate in diverse ocean environments and sustain a combat presence in places that are otherwise out of bounds. How sneaky indeed. Number 1. Israeli Submarine Israel's submarine corps may be tiny, but it is likely, although obviously not confirmed, because of all the being secret about such things, heavily armed with nuclear weaponry. The submarine corps of the Israeli Defense Force consists of five Dolphin-class subs. These are equipped with all the usual jazz, you know, like a sonar suite, torpedo tubes, and of course, all that pointy, dangerous weaponry to stuff into said tubes. But in addition to all of that, it's actually believed that these submarines are also equipped with the Triton Fiber Optic Guided Weapon System. This system is designed to allow these subs to attack surface ships, helicopters, and also coastal targets within range. It's also believed that these vessels may be armed with nuclear warheads, which may be launched from the torpedo tubes themselves. The standard understanding of Israel's nuclear weapons is that they have a nuclear deterrent based on a cruise missile version of Popeye, which is known as Popeye Turbo, which includes a turbofan engine so that it can achieve long-distance flight. This system is thought to have a range of 932 miles, but this is the information that's associated with the missile when it would first be tested almost two decades decades ago. So likely as not, it has practiced a bit by now and can go rather further, possibly even making an even bigger bang than it could back then. Well, thank you for joining me in this somewhat unnerving adventure through the highly charged world of submarines and nuclear deterrents. What a fun one! How do you feel about these subs clogging up the oceans? And just how safe does any of this stuff actually make you feel? Also, can you really believe that they managed to make these things so quiet that they can actually bump into each other? It would be funny if it wasn't so quite insane. As always, let me know all of your fascinating insights and splendid thoughts right there in the comments section down below because I know you'll have a lot to say about it all and be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen and I will see you next time.